Do you ever wonder why bulk carriers are called Handy Size, Supermax, Camzer Max, or Cape Size? These names aren't just fancy labels. They reveal the size, capability, and even the ports these ships are designed for. Today, we'll dive into the world of bulk carriers, from the smallest to the most massive, and discover what each name truly means. First, we have the Handy Size Bulk Carrier. These are the smallest in the bulk carrier family, ranging from 10,000 to 40,000 dead weight. They're designed for shallow ports, tight coastal areas, and are often equipped with onboard cranes, perfect for flexible short-range cargo operations. Next, the Handy Max and Super Max bulk carriers. Ranging from 40,000 to 60,000 deadweight tons, these ships strike a perfect balance between size and flexibility. With four cranes on board, they can load and unload even at ports with limited infrastructure. They're workhorses of regional and coastal bulk trade. Then comes the Panamax, a ship sized specifically to fit the original Panama Canal locks. With a capacity of up to 80,000 deadweight tons, these vessels were engineered with precision to sail the narrow locks of Panama before the 2016 expansion. Up next is the Kamsarmax, slightly longer than the Panamax. These vessels are built to the maximum size allowed at Kamsar Port in Guinea, a major hub for bauxite exports. They typically carry up to 85,000 deadweight tons, combining cargo capacity with specific port limitations. Then we have the Post Panamax, also known as Neo Panamax bulk carriers. These massive vessels are too wide for the original canal, but were specifically built to fit the new, wider locks opened in 2016. They typically carry between 85,000 and 100,000 plus deadweight tons, ideal for long-haul, high-volume cargo routes. Now we enter the heavyweights, the Cape Size class. These ships are too large to pass through both the Panama and Suez canals. Instead, they must sail around the Cape of Good Hope or Cape Horn, with capacities ranging from 100,000 to 220,000 deadweight tons. They carry massive loads of iron ore and coal across continents. Especially designed for Newcastle Port in Australia, these ships are called Newcastle Max. They're optimized to carry as much coal as possible, without exceeding port limitations. They can handle up to 210,000 deadweight tons, almost the same as a cape size, but fine-tuned for one of the busiest coal terminals in the world. And now, the Giants of the Sea, Very Large Ore Carriers, or VLOCS. These are the largest dry bulk ships in the world, with some exceeding 400,000 deadweight tons. They mostly transport iron ore from Brazil to China, and their sheer size makes them more like floating factories than ships. Aside from size, some bulk carriers are built for specific functions. Self unloaders have built in conveyor systems to discharge cargo without port help. Open hatch carriers have square openings, ideal for forest products. And the rare OBO carriers, or bulk oil, can carry both dry and liquid cargo, but are no longer common. From agile 10,000 ton handy sizes to the massive 400,000 ton VLOCs, each bulk carrier serves a vital role in the world's economy. Now you know the difference, and next time you see one at sea, you can name its class like a true mariner.